Hey guys, I'm Richard Hilton. I am the creator of Profit Renegade and today we're going to go over um, this short video is going to be about the general settings and what the options are and what every button does for just the general settings side tab. So as you can see there's other options in here but we're just con going over this information right here on this orange one. The very first thing is how many pages deep per keyword. That is the same as page pagination for any search engine so if you type in the word dog you're going to get page 1 through 10 million um, so if you click on page 2 you get different info than if you paid, uh, click on page 3 and that's what how many pages deep per keyword actually does choose service or plugin that's who you want to scrape from whether it's yellow pages Canada super pages or the better better business bureau and any other plugin that might be available what you see inside that drop-down window depends on what plugins you've purchased or you rent Thread options. You have the front end and back end. The front end and the back end are completely independent of each other. Uh, depending on the service, they can either go up to 99 or they can go up to 499. I believe Manta is the only one that allows for 499 threads at a time. The timeout is based in seconds, so 60 seconds means one full minute in between. You, then once again, they are completely independent of each other. You, there is no limit on that, so you could literally put in 12,000 seconds. It'll still function. It'll just take forever. <coughs> Mobile checker options. Checked for on, unchecked for off. You can turn that on anytime while the program is running. So you could have 10,000 leads in there that you didn't mobile check, and you can click check mobile check, and it will start from the beginning. You can run up to 99 threads at a time, and I suggest the lowest minimum timeout that you do is 45 seconds. Some sites are just slow. So if you want to get the data back for each and every site, you want to put this number up high enough that it's able to pull back that information. The mobile checker goes through about I think close to 30 different checks to see if it's responsive or if it's mobile or if it hosts mobile apps or whether it forwards or whether it is a JavaScript or whether it's just on the M platform. Anyway, it checks all of those. Um, it's not 100% accurate, but it's over 90% accurate. Additional options tab. Don't show plugins on start means exactly that. Don't show the pop-up box that shows you what plugins are available. And that will be removed here shortly because I've changed the area and we're going to show it in a different location. Alternate grid row colors. That means exactly what it says. Um, I have the grid set up to be pure white for RAM purposes. If you want to see grid row colors, just click that. It will alternate between gray and white. Add grid row lines it means it will add some blank lines between each row. Only keep leads with a website, only keep leads with an email address. That does not search that way. So if you do a search and you get 100 leads and only 10 of them have a website, if you check that option, only 10 leads are going to grow or get placed into the grid. That means you lost the other 90 or so leads. Same thing with the email address. If you check only keep email address, then you're only going to get the ones that have an email address returned into the grid. And if you check that and you check email digger, you're basically telling the email digger not to run. So if you're going to run the email digger, make sure that you have only keep leads with an email address unchecked. Use TorBridge instead of proxies. That's a paid plugin. If you have access to the plugin, you will be able to check it on and check it off just like that. So you'll be able to check it on or off just like that. Now if you do have the Tor plugin and you use it, make sure that you have read the instructions on how to use it. It's only available in the thank you page for when you purchase. I will be making a video on that shortly. It's really simple to use. Auto save. Check for on, uncheck for off, number of minutes. So it's save everything where you're searching at and where you're going to be searching at every X amount of minutes. Five is a good whole number and save now <coughs> means that you just click that button whenever you want uh, if you need to turn it off and it only has two minutes out of your five you just go ahead and click save now and that is it for the additional options email digger on or check for on uncheck for off the max amount of threads is 99 timeout um, is in seconds again and you can put it as high as you want I suggest a nice 60 to 70 seconds timeout smart check what that does is that takes some pre-made uh, list of URLs that we know most webmasters use like contact us and things along those lines There's about 10 or 20 of them and that's all it will check um, 
Well, first of all, I guess I should tell you that the email digger looks into the grid and if there's a listing without an email address, then it will look and see if it has a website. If it has a website, it will then go to that website and check to see if it has an email. And based on the options over here on the right hand side, depends on how it checks. If you check the smart check, then it uses the pre made um, strings. If you choose spider the entire site, that's exactly what it will do. It will check the entire site. <clears throat> if you check auto fix munched emails, that means if you have like Robert underscore no underscore spam underscore at domain, it will take out the no spam part and make it Robert at domain. Auto just digger threads for slower and faster sites. What that means is instead of just using these threadings right here, what it will do is it will see how fast the uh, it will see how fast your internet speed is, and it will see how fast the site is it needs to go to. It will then open or close. Um, threads based on what you're looking to do. So it makes it faster, m usually. System beep when found, this is exactly what it says. Every time it finds an email with using the email digger plugin, you'll hear a beep. So that gets pretty annoying very quick. Uh, I think most people use it just to see if it's working, then they turn it off. Clear link queue for domain after first email is found. What that means is if you have, <coughs> when it goes to the website, it grabs every link on that website and shoves them into a queue so it knows which ones it's gone to and look for an email. Basically it's saying once it finds an email, dump the queue and shove it in the grid and move on to the next one. It speeds the program up. <coughs> Advanced Manta, this is a plugin you will or will not see based on whether you um, uh, uh, have purchased the plugin. These are your search filters. If you guys remember the old Manta, you could actually do that on the site. They took that away from you, but I, I figured out a way to do it anyway. And this is your custom filter. You could just put, put anything here. And then it will search for that as well as anything that's in these. Attempt to only get results with emails. Now that basically, if you check that, uncheck the rest because you don't need it. It's only going to get you claimed addresses that have email addresses. Or, I mean, claimed listings that have email addresses. It's uh, pretty powerful. <clears throat> the only problem with it is you don't get, obviously, you don't get as many uh, results as if you don't use that. Now one thing I'm going to harp on on every single video are these three functions. This is called the Save button. If you click it, all these threads will change based on whatever service that it is you're running. So that will put it on the bare bones, set, or bare, the basic settings for that particular service. This is the apply button. Nothing works without clicking the apply. Once you put in keywords and locations, you have to click apply or it will not work. You'll know it's ready when you see a number here in the AQ. This is the back. It just backs you out of the console. Doesn't matter what where you are and what you're doing. It just backs you out of the console. And that's it for the general settings tab. If you guys have any questions or problems, just let me know.